Right folks, if you're building a camper van, you're going to need somewhere to sleep. So it's time to fit the rock and roll bed. These streamlined beds, upholstery is great, the frame always needs a bit of adapting. I'll show you why. It's this lever here. There's no need to have that that straight. All I'm going to do is put a little cut in there, bend that down, weld it back up, and that'll give us a gap under here so our fingers don't get trapped. That's a bit safer. Right, that's where it needs to be. Now I've got to figure out if the holes are going to interfere with anything underneath the van. I'm going to have to do some clever measuring. So, I know that hole is clear. There's a big area around there. So I'll drill through that one and then I can take your measurements off that bolt for all the others. So there's Sod's Law, that one's okay. That one comes right on a chassis rail. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is cut that bar off and weld it over a little bit so that it comes. So it comes behind that chassis rail in there. Currently it sits right where that chassis rail is. Right, slight change of plan. Instead of moving that rail, I've welded another bracket in there because it's only that one hole that's affected. The ones at the back are fine. All right, that's got them in. And then the other ones are over there. So now I'll put my spare wheel back and then we can get the rest of the seat in. Gotta be careful with this bit. You don't wanna take a chunk out of brand new furniture. And there we go. Almost like I know what I'm doing, isn't it? Jesus, that's heavy. Right, there's a slight problem with these swivel seats. That is the plug for the heated seats that are in the passenger seat. Now obviously when that swivels, there's gonna be nowhere near long enough. So what I think I'm gonna to have to do is cut all that wire and loom out and extend the wires somehow so that it's long enough to swivel round. But that's a problem for another day. This seat base has jacked the seat up that high. This is my eye line. Now I'm six foot one, but even so, that's a little bit silly, don't you think? Well, I have to say, I'm not very impressed with this seat swivel. I think you've got to take the headrest out to swivel it. Because it's jacked it up so high. I think I might be swapping that for a captain's chair in the future. Don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. So what I'm thinking I might do is this is the original seat. It's got some cradling in here which is welded into here and there's a couple of legs. I think I've got enough on these legs to cut all this out cut it down, drop it down and re-weld it up. So I'm tempted to do that, I think, because that is just ridiculous. I mean, look at the difference in the height to the driver's seat. 
That's crazy. Right, that's got the chair stripped down to its basics. Now you can basically see we've got a cradle around the bottom and then these stanchions. What I think I'm going to do, cut the cradle off, cut the stanchions down and then weld that, weld that cradle back on again. One cut down seat, one cradle. Let's join them together. Right, that's got it clamped in place. What I think I'll do is put a couple of tack welds on and then make sure it still fits. There, so that's all down to its original height now. But the only thing I'm just thinking is if you compare the back of that to the back of my driver's seat, you'll see it's much more upright. Now I'm thinking, as I've got to alter this anyway, why not cut a bit more off the back so that we get more of a reclining position? So I think I'm going to cut those tabs and lean it back a bit. Well, that feels loads more comfortable. We've got headroom, which is always a bonus. So now we'll get it all welded up and get a coat of paint on it. Right, folks, there we go. All done. It's not pretty, but it's strong. And more importantly, it's 65 mil lower. So let's get it put together and put back in the van. There, she's in. Not quite such a big difference now. And not only have we got a nice little recline going on, if you now look at my eye line, this is what I can see. Look, I can see cars and everything. Loads better. There we go, folks. There's another one done. Really pleased with how this has turned out. Now, with it being a Ford, the upholstery on the rock and roll chair doesn't quite match the OEM front seats, but it's not far off, so I'm quite happy with that. It's because it's Ford and not VW. They match everything to VW because that's what everybody wants. But I'm happy with it. And then on the back here, we've got our usual pull-out drawer, but on the VWs, I can only make these 17 centimetres wide, whereas on these Fords, they're 25 centimetres wide, which makes an awful lot of difference. And then there's a load of storage under here, which is quite cavernous. Get a ton of pants and socks in there. And then again, the wardrobe, nice and big. Lots of storage space in there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.